What's up guys, today I have 3 PlayStation 5 accessories that I highly recommend you check out. All 3 of these are from Nexigo, who are the sponsors of this video. We have a multi-function cooling stand for the PS5 console, controller and games, a battery pack for the DualSense controller and a charging dock for the DualSense controller. Let's first look at the multi-function cooling stand. This thing is really an all-in-one accessory that will help you organize your PS5 setup. You vertically secure your PS5 to the stand. And of course, there is this extra cooling. You can fast charge your PS5 controllers and you can store up to 11 physical games. Let's open it up. Here is a user manual. Here's a cable that'll connect the stand to your PS5. And here we have hardware to secure the PS5 to the stand. Here is the stand. And this thing's pretty light, also a lot smaller than the other ones that I've seen. It also comes in a white finish and most of the other stands typically are in black. I also like that you can secure your PS5 using this hardware. And I know there's a bit of debate on if these third party cooling fans actually work. The way this one is, it's a bit interesting. It doesn't actually blow air into the console. It's actually meant to dissipate the warm air from the console, as you can see from this image. So think of this as more of an exhaust. And here are the exhaust fans, and they're right here, away from the console. Let's go ahead and set this up. The PS5 console fits and installs pretty well into the stand. Now this cable, you connect the USB-C end to the stand and it's kind of a double USB-A end here that you need to connect to the back of your PS5. The reason it's two is I think because of the fast charging, you do need more power in that case. That might be one of the negatives of the stand. It does take away both of the USB ports on the back. So if you do have external hard drive, you now have to plug that in into the front. And I know it has a USB port on the actual stand here, but it doesn't seem to work with external hard drive. Right here, we have the button to turn the fan on and off. And the fan itself is fairly quiet. In terms of charging the PS5 controllers, it works pretty well. You can easily charge up to two controllers. The game storage slots are also pretty sturdy, up to 11 physical PS4 or PS5 games. Overall, even though I'm a bit skeptical on how much difference the cooling makes, I think it's still a decent accessory. It's really an all-in-one to organize your PS5 setup, charge your controller, and just keep everything looking clean. Now let's look at this battery pack for the DualSense controller. This charges using a USB-C cable and it does have a 1500 milliamp hour battery. That's about the same size as we have on the DualSense controller. So theoretically, it should double your controller's battery life. So inside of the box, you get two things. There's a battery pack and a USB-C charging cable. The battery pack does fit easily onto the controller. Here you can see that it is charging the controller. The pack also has a few useful features. One, there are light indicators here so you see exactly how much charge the pack has left. And two, there is a button here to turn the pack on and off so your PS5 controller isn't always in that charging state. In terms of weight, it's pretty light so you won't really notice it much and it's relatively small for the most part and doesn't interfere with when you're playing. Just a minor thing here on the back, you will be resting your fingers in this small space it forms at the back. So of course you are going to feel it. Now that might be a bit of an annoyance for some, although I was okay with it. The third and last accessory we are going to check out is this charging dock for the DualSense controllers. This particular one is similar to the official Sony dock. It does offer fast charging, it does include a power adapter. And as a bonus, you get some joystick and trigger grips. So let's open this up. Here are the joystick and trigger grips. I think they're nice little additions to accessorize your controller. They do fit the controller well. And there are two sizes when it comes to the joystick grips. Here is a power adapter. 
and we have a user manual and here is the actual charging dock pretty easy to set up with the provided adapter it charges two controllers pretty quick and easy to dock on and dock off those controllers and in addition to the light indicators that you have on the controllers there's also a light indicator on the actual dock once the controller is fully charged like this one on the left it will stop charging you can see there's no indicator on the left controller while the right one is still charging all right so that's it for today that's a few accessories that complete my current PS5 setup. If any of these accessories interest you, they are available on Amazon and links are in the description below. So feel free to check them out. If you appreciate this type of content, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because there's a ton of PS5 content coming your way.